Services Operation Vanguard fundraising event finished up Tuesday afternoon, but organizers say the donations have not stopped coming in. Nicole Christine visited Reach's office today to hear from those involved with Operation Vanguard about the ways this event is changing the community. You were out there, weren't you? I was out there. I stayed Friday and Saturday night, and I'll yeah. tell you that uh, the people, myself included, would mm -hmm. tell you there's tangible and intangible benefits of an uh, event like Operation yeah. Vanguard. Noble Shaw with Reach Services says they have nearly reached their goal of $20,000, but have far exceeded their goal of creating a message regarding the need for resources for homeless vets in our area. Doing this is, is an eye-opening experience. The sixth year of Operation Vanguard has come and gone, but the donations are still coming in from the community. Uh, we're a little over 18,000 right now. We still got some funds out there that we're expecting to come in. The fundraising event centers around Reach Veteran Services, which provides aid to veterans in need in the Wabash Valley, aid made possible in part because of Vanguard. Well, just recently we had a household of six uh, that we put up in a hotel for a brief period of time. If I didn't have the money available, I'm going to have to tell the household of six haters, there's no way we can help you. Noble Shaw says donations came from all over the valley, including across state lines in Illinois, and adds that an unused coat or suit jacket could make all the difference for a vet in need. That veteran, that might be a, a warm coat or a, a, it might be a, a suitable change of clothes for him to go out there and do a job interview with, and that may make the difference between getting a job, not getting a job. Vigo County Councilman Chris Schweitzer has participated in Vanguard the past two years and says it helps him understand how the less fortunate live. That our community is a very poor community. And I know this event is about homeless veterans, but there are also a lot of other homeless people out there. And uh, being able to see for a night what they potentially could be going through is, is, is crazy. So. Swicer adds that Vanguard is a temporary event that can lead to permanent action. Now having two kids and thinking at night that there are thousands of kids in Terre Haute, Vigo County, that are probably going to bed without heat or hot water, it's, uh, it's definitely something to think about and hopefully we can act soon. Now Reach Services is also has a rapid rehousing program for homeless people to apply to be a part of. This allows for someone's basic needs to be met as they are exploring other resources as well. Interesting. Uh, I understand there's a lot of uh, activities or work that is on the back end of it. Yeah, so happen. Noble says he's actually looking for volunteers still because yeah. he needs some help with sorting out all of those canned goods, the clothing, mm. the toiletries, all those things that were donated. So if you didn't get a chance to participate over the weekend or over the six days, the option is still there. It's a worthy cause. Yes, it is. They need help, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Nicole. Mm -hmm.